Uh, when it comes to Senator Lindsey Graham, you know, I think he sent a clear message uh, just not too long ago when, I, when he was walking in the halls of Congress by saying that he is sympathetic and the U.S. needs to be sympathetic to Turkey's national security concerns. I think this brings him to Turkey so he can reassure the Turkish administration that the United States is sympathetic to those concerns and that we need to work together moving forward in the future to figure out um, different solutions, solutions that benefit both nations, uh, especially when it comes to um, Turkish national security and its border security concerns when it comes to the YPG forces um, in that area. Okay, and you say um, he, he talked about being um, calling, you know, to be sympathetic to Turkish concerns. But practically, does he have a President Trump's ear? Uh, practically, I would say so. I, I would say, you know, Senator uh, Lindsey Graham is a powerful, influential force um, on the Foreign Relations Committee. Um, he's a ally of President Trump, um, and he's someone that President Trump listens to because he speaks out when President Trump, uh, when he deems that President Trump is wrong, he says so, and then when he de deems that President Trump is right, he also says so. So I think he's well positioned to be able to influence President Trump and the administration on this, and that comes in in a time when U.S. government officials are visiting the area as well, and now you have Senator. Lindsey Graham visiting the area. So he's able to get that first-hand look of the situation of what is going on and is able to talk to the Turkish officials, including President Erdogan, um, face to face and is able to hear these concerns from President Erdogan himself. So I do believe that he will be able to influence uh, President Trump and will be able to relay the message of uh, Foreign Minister Chavo Solo and the President Erdogan uh, to the White House and the other necessary um, institutions in the U.S. Okay. Now, I just want to ask you about your thoughts on the fact that we've just heard the U.N. Secretary General Antonio Guterres making a statement saying that Turkey's security issues should be addressed. Your thoughts on this? Well, of course, um, I, I think this is a great step uh, moving forward that the UN that the UN Secretary General has addressed this as well. I think Turkey in general has a lot of security concerns when, when it comes to the border. I mean, you just have to look at the number of attacks uh, by ISIS and other factors that have been conducted against Turkey from within that area. Uh, so now moving forward, the fact that the UN Secretary General has made these remarks, has make, made a stand against this, I think should send, should, should send waves throughout the world as well that Turkey has legitimate security concerns. Um, the United United States and the Western countries should be listening to this because I think until we figure out and until we figure out and then create a solution and find a solution to deal with Turkey's security concerns in that area, I don't believe that peace in that area is actually possible without addressing the security concerns. Uh, Turkey is a key factor in peace in Syria, resolving the issues in Syria, and I do believe that those security concerns should be addressed. So I think this is a great first step in moving forward. Uh, we just have to now execute on this.